Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. Now, Kenyans, have you seen whatever is happening in Kwari? Kwa mkuru kwa njenga? Imbakasi? And it is something that is reminding me about what happened at Chakahola scene. And it is so sad as people are being butchered, wrapped into gunias or paper bags. Yet our security do not understand what happened. As we speak so far, yesterday it was reported that nine bodies were retrieved from the dump site. And today, we are being told that six of the bodies has already been retrieved and making the number to rise from nine to 15 bodies. And this has been stopped and the, because of the anger that was among the residents that even they were tempted to burn the police station that was near the scene. The question is, who is doing this? And what is the purpose of butchering people like this? And when you look at the way they have been wrapped, the same, same thing that happened in Shakaola. Look at the same thing that happened when the issue of Roy Sambu, TRM issue, where a young lady was butchered into different parts of the bodies. It is so sad. And so as I was just watching a video here, where young people were escorting the land cruiser that was carrying six bodies to the city mochari, it is so sad. I want you to watch the video as the young men and women were escorting the land cruiser that was carrying the six bodies and that was adding the number from 19 to 15. Take a look. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, ensure you like the video. I have realized that sometimes you bump into the video, you watch, and you forget liking the video. So I'm just reminding you, like the video. This video is going to be so interesting. Watch it then. <laughs> Ruto must go! 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 the number nine. He doesn't know even it is there is additional number that has been found today. 
I know some people are defending William Ruto that he never knew that there was addition. But he's having people on the field. Before even he arrives to speak, he should confirm the numbers. William Ruto still has tapped to nine bodies, but we are having 15 bodies. Nine yesterday and six today. And there, there is a plan to continue with the retrievement because we are being told there are several bodies there. So we are waiting how things are going to be. So William Ruto on his side is claiming that those who involve themselves in this, they must, they must be arrested. The question is, who are these people? And why was this activity going on? Yet we have police station close to that dam site. Let us watch what William Ruto said. Ya kwamba kule Nairobi imepatikana miili ya wa Kenya. Sasa imefika karibu miili tisa ya wa Kenya ambayo imepatikana. Wengi ama karibu wote ni wasichana ambao imetokea kwa mambo ambayo bado serikali tunafanya uchunguzi. Nimeamurisha polisi na wale wote wanaohusika DCI na wale wote wengine ambao wanahusika kwa mambo ya homicide na mambo ya kuchunguza vile haya mambo yametokea mimi nataka niahakikishie wa Kenya wale wote waliohusika na maafa ya hawa watoto wetu kule kware kule Nairobi mpaka watapata cha mtemakuni na mpaka tuwapate ili tuwachukulie hatua kwa sababu ku kuwa mkenya kuchukua maisha ya mkenya kwa njia yoyote ni makosa chini ya katiba yetu ya Kenya na ni kinyume ya mambo ya human rights ya any nation kwa hivyo those who are charged with making sure that there is comprehensive investigations on matters that we have witnessed in Kware where many Kenyans including young girls have lost their lives that process must be expedited and the truth must be found so that those who are involved in this heinous act must be punished and must be taken to court and must be the law must be applied so for me let me say something that is very crucial you cannot convince me that those who are being retrieved in that dam site these are people that were killed during the regime of Uhuru Mwingi Kenyatta. For me, according to what I've seen people reacting on, that even if some bodies are decomposing, is that a clear indication that these people, you know, has not been there for a long period of time. Yes, there is a lady who was saying that there has been a case, a case like that that you find that some people are being killed and dumped in that dam site. But the question is, why is it that our police officers are so keen on some issues that are not important? They are so knowledgeable where alcohol is being sold. But they don't know the security of the people. How will you understand where the alcohol is being sold but you don't understand how the security of the people are. If already the number is 15. Because we are being told, again, we are being not told the truth. Because yesterday we are being told the number is more. It is around 11, 12 there. So it means with today, it is around 18 to 19 there. But we are being not told the truth. The same thing, we are having problem with the media. There, you are being told, if you do this, some are even not allowed to say the truth, you know. Yani, wanafanya kitu ngine ni kama, kuna kitu, we should suspect. So, I think for me, whatever is happening in our country, it is so sad. And I don't know, even if I condemn, will not bring back their lives. But what I'm seeing, it is so unfortunate as a country to see the same same thing that happened in Shakahola is the same thing that is happening 
Now, the Shakahola one was happening that someone was already being buried, you know. But this for Kwari and Bakashi, it is so sad that are not buried. They're just being killed, butchered, wrapped in sacks or paper bags and they're thrown. Just like that. So these bodies are just decomposing there. No one is understanding whatever is happening. So we are being told there was a lady hmm, who dreamt that her sister was appearing on a dream that she was in that damn site killed. And so when the lady went there, that was the genesis. How these people realized that more people were there. So the question remains, who are these people who are doing this? But at the same time, we are having two, almost two police stations surrounding the dam site. You want to tell the police officers never knew what was happening? And why were they not aware about what was happening at the dam site? That is the question we are asking, which for us, we don't have answers. We don't want to insinuate anything. We don't want to accuse anyone. We don't want to judge anyone. But the question is, what was the role of the security apparatus? Just to be like that. Yesterday, I analyzed a video here saying there was a lady that was found in Roy Sambu, killed. It was a young lady. What is the problem? The question we are asking, what is the problem? Yet, I told you very clear, we are having independent institutions that are systems, are broken. Some individuals are just there. They don't know what they are doing there. And I know our question might not have answers at the end of the day. They will just tell us, we have done our best and nothing is happening. For the Shakahola one, is that now the Pastor McKenzie is being associated with it. And what if the Pastor McKenzie was not there? Then today, could have been speaking about other issues that we have tried our best, but you have not found anyone associated with this one. So we are just keen watching. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.